Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to White Gaming. How are you all doing? We are back again today with another Alpha Dev Blog from Survive the Nights. Now this one is Dev Blog 21 Alpha 1.6 preview. And a slight sort of hint as to uh, the Halloween event, which if I do say so looks absolutely awesome. Now at the time of recording this video, we, there is no date, so I'm not too sure when it's coming. Obviously, Halloween is just around the corner, so I can't imagine it'll be too long. So make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and uh, follow all the Survive the Nights links down below as well. And let's jump in, shall we? So, the team is developing the 1.6 patch. We're also working on an additional 1.5 Halloween update, which includes some spooky in-game Halloween events. And the Prison Island rework and Prison Town, to be named by the community. Which uh, is really quite cool. I like that they're letting the community name this one. It's going to be quite a nice uh, nice little feature. And uh, so we've continued making progress with the Prism Rework. As mentioned in the last day block, we've also added an entirely new town to the old Prison Island. We'd like to ask the to task the community for some help in naming this town. We've reached out to the community in the past for help with naming towns of Black Island and all the roads and shop names were coined by Kickstarter backers as part of their backer perks. This new town will replace the current prison island and the new prison island is attached via an overpass. The prison is called Black Ridge Prison, so keep that in mind, leave your suggestions in the comments below and uh, we will pick out a few favourites and have a vote to make the final decision. So, if you want to drop some comments down, some ideas, head over to the Steam Survive the Nights page and drop some info down there. Let people know what you want it to be called and what you're thinking. Um, so this is the island here. Uh, oh, I don't know. What, what could... I don't know what a name could be for that. Drop some ideas down in the comments as well. I appreciate that. Hmm... So we got Black Ridge Prison, so I think Black Ridge Island is just a bit meh. Um <clears throat> Hmm. I don't know. That's quite a difficult one. Can't think off the top of my head. Oh, and the new prison island is to the right. Oh yeah, as you can see there, in both these images, obviously there's the, the island itself. And then as you follow the road round. There's the prison. I was expecting the prison to be attached to the main island, but obviously not, which is really quite cool. I like that. And that's the entrance to the uh, the main island there. Obviously, we're going to go through a sort of harbour. <coughs> and that's the bridge to the prison with the bridge up. That looks absolutely amazing. That looks better than I thought it would. I'm quite impressed with that. Well done. Guys, you have done well. You have outdone yourselves. That looks absolutely awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And also, we have coming up the Halloween event, Trick or Treat, coming soon. Obviously, as I said earlier on, we have no certain date for that yet. But it's looking to be, I would have thought, some point this week. I, I mean, I'd hope, you know. So, players will find that all exterior residential doors will now have a Trick or Treat knocker on them, along with some spooky Halloween decorations. Use the knocker to take your chances of spawning a zombie or a little treat. You may also be rewarded with a film case. Wonder if it can be used at the drive-in. Here we've got the uh, oh, the little Halloween events showcase. <clears throat> oh, that is wicked. That is really cool. <clears throat> I like that. That looks wicked. So, that's going to be fun in Union Point. Okay. The film roll. Now, obviously, if you've watched the last letter or looked at their last letter, instead of watching it from my channel, then you will know that there is a drive-in movie theatre coming with this update. Now, I'm not too sure whether that's going to stay or whether that's just for the Halloween event. I'm assuming it's going to stay, but uh, I'm not 100%. It would be quite nice if it did because that sounds really quite cool. Obviously, the movie film we've just seen there, um, we're going to be able to plug that in and I wonder what it's going to show. That's going to be quite cool. I wonder if we'll get a full feature length. You know, that'd be nice. Sit back, watch a film, chill, try not to get eaten by zombies. <clears throat> 
There's some screenshots here of the uh, of the doors, which are really quite cool. I do like the pumpkins and the knocker. They look quite freaky. The knocker's awesome. But that sound as well that it made was uh, was beastie. And drive-ins. Oh, here we go. We'll be introducing to new points of interest on the island, the Barren Drive-ins. You'll find one north of Sage Creek and one just north of Lake Barren. Check them out. Maybe stick around for a flick if you found one was trick or treating. And here we go. Here's just some images of that. That's really cool. Obviously, we just add the film to it. And then we watch the film. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Obviously, you've got the merch shop as well, which um, the links to all of that is down in the description below. So make sure you check all that out. Now, this update is looking to be really quite good. Some small little uh, quality of life bits in there as well, I'm assuming. Um, but... Well, from, from me today, that is it. Thanks for watching, and uh, as soon as this Halloween event comes out, I'll be jumping straight on that, and I'll have a video out for you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.